good decision to put on sunscreen. Wow. What's like a banana cream pie and a lemon berry, always a fail. <laughs> You're not a good fellow. Never heard. That's how we say it it's now. Wow, it's a chew wow. In my 30s, I left a tech career in Venezuela to chase my passion for food. Now as a chocolatier, I have the privilege of living out my joy by crafting delicious premium chocolate experiences for you. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> Look at this shit. Uh, oh. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Okay. Do I need to like try the whole thing? The marshmallow gotta get in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chunky, crunchy, hazelnuts. I'm I'm confused what this is gonna look like. Interesting packaging. It's individually wrapped, which is terrible for the environment. Oh, never mind. It's made from plant-based materials. Mm -hmm. Well, <coughs> we tried all three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With cool branding on it. Mm. Hazel nuts. Like, is it just flavored or? Mm -mm. Crunchy nuts in there. Mm. It's much creamier than the other one. Mm hmm It's like chewy, melty. Yeah, it tastes like there's more milk. Mm hmm This one I'm fucking hyped for. Mm. There better be some like actual cream in here. Oh, this shit just open in my mouth. Little squares. Mm hmm These are German. Mm. Oh what yeah. <laughs> what did you learn about German chocolate in your your video? I didn't have any German chocolate. Oh. They don't really do luxury like that. Mm. And they're very utilitarian. Mm. Precision. Mm. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. I love how we're all just randomly reaching. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, that's like soft on the top. Mm. We even set up. God. This is so good. I think that's six times Christian said, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, bro. Alright, I got you. I got you. Got you. You're gonna have to you don't have us. We're getting real cozy in here, baby. <laughs> Thank you.
play, but we are officially two weeks from leaving Seattle for real this time. I feel like I've built the anticipation for it for last two months and I haven't even uploaded those videos, but pretty much if you skipped towards the newest one, I was I thought I was gonna be moving at the end of March and now it's the end of May. Well, it's about to be the end of May and I just put down my deposit for my movers and they're gonna be here in exactly two weeks on work day. This apartment is gonna be empty. I filmed a house tour. I gotta get rid of this couch, my air conditioner, and then everything else will be coming with me. Definitely none of it is worth the 5K that it costs to move. Yeah, nobody tells you that. It costs $5,000 to move from Washington to, to Southern California. Um, but because I got a reload bonus and I just hate shedding all my items and starting over because it's more expensive that way, I will just pay for movers because this way I don't have to replace all the furniture, get anything new, or spend a lot of time not having items. The only thing I'll be needing to look for is a couch and that might actually take a while because I want to be like more intentional with how I pick one this time. And also that probably means that it's going to be more expensive. So I need to save. Today we're going to the park though. I just finished all my work. I actually finished it a while ago. I'm still waiting on a few things from my stakeholders on my team. So in the meantime, let's go to the park. It's the third 80 degree day of the year. And it's so gorgeous. Like I've loved working from home all day today because the sun is just beaming. Like this, that is to die for. I love my home so much and I'm so sad to leave it because staring at blue skies all day like this, I feel so spoiled. I'm definitely not spoiled because I'm buying it for myself, but <sighs> I'm really excited to show you guys the new apartment though. It's so gorgeous. It. There was a reason why it took two months to move to LA. Oh, I see. Haven't used this in a couple months, but we have made it to the park. Um, I'm gonna call Tim in a bit once I've laid around alone for a sufficient amount of time and then summon him out here so we can start running around drinking and stuff. Good decision to put on sunscreen. Yeah. You know, I have three bottles of that now. I have none. I just have that face one and the one under my car that's just been cooking for months. I got one at Target. Okay. I was like, okay, it's about the season. Mm -hmm. You gotta go and get it. So I went and bought it. Like, Great call. Then I went to Costco. Mm -hmm. And then they had two packs. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> just turned off my AC just to record this vlog. It's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. I am about to head to the farmer's market, grab some flowers from my mom, and then run some errands around town. I gotta head to Ballard to look at some jewelry at this boutique. I have a gift card there, so I won't buy anything unless it's from there. So I spend as little money, like, real money as possible and then i want to run to bellevue and just look at some skirts it's spring and i'm about to live in la again and i don't have any skirts i have like three i my favorite one broke around the winter this year and i just need some like girly stuff i don't really want to shop because i've been really good about not buying new clothes but you can't do anything if you don't have like the items so and it's just too hot to be wearing like the same few things. So we got this. And then I'm gonna go to Olympia. Let's go. 
Okay, I actually ended up walking up to Count Anderson to get matcha because Fran's getting a matcha right now. Um, we were like on the phone earlier and we're like, oh, we should do that together. So she's in DC with her matcha, it's my turn. And then I'm gonna take the link to Pike Place and then Scratch Bellevue overall. Don't need to go shopping. It saves money this way, you know? But um, there's like a little cute market over here today at Count Anderson. It's Saturday. I love that. Um, but yeah, and then I'll go to my parents' house around 3 o'clock. It should take two hours if the freeway is not too bad. And he's like, oh, like, I want you to be part of this. And I was like, no, like, at Urban Outfitters and Uniqlo. I didn't get anything from Urban Outfitters, but I did get two things from Uniqlo. I would rather have found something at Urban Outfitters because it would have been for tomorrow, but these are for like this season. But this is so cute and fun. I said that like anything that I buy from now on will be an item of color. So starting a little soft with a like creamy tea with red ringer thingies and then and it's like a peanuts one so i guess i'll just get one from uniqlo once every year it's so cute i love my last peanuts t-shirt and then i got this yellow linen shirt in a large it's a little tight but and like crunchy but i think once i wash it it'll be perfect i have been like loving this like buttery yellow for clothes lately and it means that I can also wear my favorite color and so here we have it very excited very soft choices in color I'm hoping to do more bright bold like greens and blues I tried on a pastel green shirt but I just feel like pastel greens not really the color for me it made my skin look really tan but I'm just not into it I don't think it fits the wardrobe that I currently have I am gonna clean up my house a little bit so when I come back today, tonight, I don't have to worry about it and it's just a clean, beautiful house and then I don't have to worry about tomorrow because I'm going to be out all day tomorrow. My AC is blasting and yeah, that's today. Oh yeah, this is not healing very great. I got this with the homies last week, literally a week ago now and the hives are in full force. It's um peeling a lot more color than I expected so I definitely 100% have to go back for a touch up very sad but it's okay 
Ugh, I just like the thought of like having to reheal it after the touch up. I'm scared. And I won't even live here anymore. Oh God, crap. We'll figure it out. Finally on the road. <laughs> Thank God. Um, let's see, where is my sparkling water? Beautiful. I'm at Adam's house, Jimmy's house. They got some Mountain Dew Zero. We don't drink Zero. <laughs> we drink the regular kind. <laughs> like normal people. Duh. It's, but... it's a health journey. <laughs> with, alongside with this. <laughs> the men are barbecuing. Love it. Banana cream pie and the lemon berry, always a fave. Yay! Oh, shit. <laughs> hold it up, hold it up. <laughs> Wafers. Courtesy of Makai to, to Adam's house. Okay, I am just about done getting ready. It's Sunday. Um, going on my last date with Max today. Um, don't know if he's thinking of it as like a last date, but like he goes to EDC in a few days and then when he gets back, I go on my two day trip to LA and then the day after I fly back here, pack up my apartment and leave. And he goes to Elenia. So this, this is the end of the road. Um, <laughs> feels like this day was really far away because I think I asked him if he was free like this weekend before May even rolled around. And now it's May 12th. And I was going to wear my aloe tennis skirt that I always wear for festivals and stuff because he said like, look cute, but be comfortable. But I, it's like a hit or miss if I like the way I look in it most days. And so we're going with this. It's comfortable. It's just like in Seattle, when you're wearing something with like a lot of detailing, it feels like you're trying really hard or like you're overdressed. Obviously, I don't care. But I do a little bit. Sometimes. I don't know. Depends where we're going and I don't know where we're going. So I'm like, boom. But it's really cute, it's giving like princess vibes. I have like my hair clip and yeah, I fixed my nails a little bit. I already chipped a bunch of them while they're drying still, but it looks significantly better than when I woke up. So that's good. This one's still dry because I messed it up doing something. And yeah, he's a little late. He said he'd be over in an hour-ish. Um, and then he texted me from like 30 minutes later and he's like, I have not gotten up. I should use this time to first finish getting ready, clean my house a little bit, or just like adjust it because I just, I'm never home to clean my house. But like, I don't want to feel like little Cinderella, like just vacuuming, sweeping my floor. Also, this dress always feels so, like, long. But, like, every time I bend over, I'm reminded that it's not as long as I think it is. I 
I know, sorry, my AC is blasting. It's gonna be really warm in here. But <laughs> Something about like it being like the last full day of us spending time together, like that's what makes it feel real because I've been attached by the hip to him for three months now. And what do I do after? What does after look like? <laughs> Obviously, like, I knew that was coming, I'm moving, blah, 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 but, like, at the same time, like, it still doesn't feel like it was happening, and so, life's crazy. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so scared for this week, and then the next week, especially the ne next week, this week, Probably tomorrow I gotta run to Home Depot and grab a couple boxes and then pack up the stuff that I don't want the movers to take for me or the stuff that I know I can pack so they can pack the harder stuff for me because I think I have about 20 boxes that they're gonna do for me and then 10 for myself and I fear that 30 boxes may not be enough but it should be because like when I moved from LA to here I had maybe 20 at best. And like that was just because I kept buying small boxes. Um, we have 10 medium and then five large. I never buy large boxes because as a small girly, I cannot pick them up. So we'll see since we have the movers doing those. This is the first song of the summer. This is the song of the summer. This is the first song on my summer playlist that I'm gonna mix. Every you guys, this is the song of the summer. You're hearing it here first. Yeah, I love God. <laughs> Bless our Lord, please. I give us a brother's you from the message of God's Lord. Amen. Okay, I, wa I wanted to take you to Bike Market because I wanted to sit in those little benches and do my activity. But we can go somewhere else because we've already been there. Oh, well, I only went there to get my own flowers. <laughs> you want to go there? You're picking. I'm not saying anything. But I don't want you to be disappointed by already having gone there. <laughs> I live you here. Guys, you guys, you see what I'm dealing with? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, 
Don't put something in my hand. Which one do you want? How's it going? Uh. <laughs> oh. Always oh, on the selfie side. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are opening Pokemon cards. Um, we got the Temporal Forces uh, booster pack. Yes, I am opening it. Yeah. And first, we have Mudsdale. I don't like this guy. Next, I don't know what we have. What do we have, Maxie? I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm getting any of these. I'm just gonna look for the shiny. We have another Mudsdale. Raichu and Fluttermane. Fluttermane is, is our back. shiny. It looks kind of dope. You can have this. <laughs> I may see it. The cookie dough and the gooey brownie. Alright, I'm gonna park over here. The thing is, if I drive, we're listening to the Star Spangled Banner on loop times 10. Highest volume and a hand on heart. We just did that. Oh god, you recorded me saying that? Oh, say. What's the deepest note you can hit? You think I'd be a you think I'd be a treble a base you think I'd be a base canyon if I was in choir? Mm -hmm. 